Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back with another episode! Today we're taking a look at one of my favorite superhero teams. The Avengers? Nope. The Justice League? No. The Justice Society? No. The X-Men? No. The Teen Titans? No. Uncle Sam and the Freedom Fighters? No, how about I just tell you because we don't have all day. The Green Lantern Corps! The Green Lantern Corps? Never heard of them. But you have heard of the Green Lantern. Who? You know, he's got the green ring, like Brightest Day, and Darkest Night, all that shit. Not ringing a bell, Gorilla. Is he new? I don't really get into the new stuff. He's been around for years, Jess. And apparently he's part of a corps, right? Like the Marine Corps? You know, I was once a Navy SEAL. Just shut up! He's a DC character. I mean, how do you not know who the Green Lantern is? I mean, you know who Superman is, right? Of course, stupid. Okay, and Batman? Everybody knows Batman. And Wonder Woman? Hachi machi. Yes, yes I do. And The Flash? Of course, I know all these guys. Martian Manhunter, Zatanna, Green Arrow, Captain Marvel, The Spectre, Doctor Fate, Deadshot, Deathstroke, Dead Man, Supergirl, Elongated Man, Plastic Man, The Mysterious Stranger, Etrigan, Catwoman, Catman, Superman's best friend Jimmy Olsen. Wait, wait, wait a minute. How do you know all these other characters and you don't know Green Lantern? I guess it's because I'm not a huge nerd gorilla. Raz Holly, hit the music. Never hear it on the radio. Never hear it on a TV show. we're talking about today is from the 21st century, its origins go all the way back to the 1970s. Migo's World's Greatest Superheroes line was a huge revelation in the toy industry, proof that licensed action figures based on comic book superheroes and villains will sell. And not just the big guns either. Sure, Batman, Superman, and Spidey have figures, but characters like the Riddler, Aquaman, and the rest all got their chance to shine. As we all know, Mego went bust in the early 80s, but the desire for 8-inch clothed figures never really went away. So in 2009, Mattel got into the act with their line of Mego inspired 8-inch clothed figures. The retro action DC superheroes, as they were called, were fairly popular, but thanks to spotty distribution and no real marketing push, a lot of the folks that would be interested in these didn't find out about them until late in the line or until after it was discontinued in 2011. Over 20 figures did make it to market though, and today we're going to take a look at the Green Lanterns. The Green Lantern, if you didn't know, was along with The Flash, one of the heroes of the Golden Age that was rebooted in the 1960s Silver Age to fit into a more sci-fi aesthetic, ditching the spooky magic and grit the editors were looking to avoid at the time. The Mattel line got six Green Lanterns, if you count the two Sinestros. One came in his yellow Sinestro Corps getup, and the other was his original blue Kermit the Frog suit. Doesn't matter though, because I didn't get either of those shits. I did get the Green Lanterns though, so let's check them out. Okay, so from 2009, it is the Retro Action DC Superheroes by Mattel. They are Mego style in the 1-9 scale. They're about 8 inches high a piece. And uh, I got all the Green Lanterns, um, with the exception of our friend Sinestro. But let's start with Hal Jordan. Hal Jordan is in the, uh, he was in the first series here, along with Batman, Superman, and Green Arrow. 
Um, and uh, I, I don't know, like Green Arrow was like a fucking like con exclusive or something. He's harder to find. Um, who gives a shit? Let's take a look at the back. We have the cross cell um, with uh, Lex Luthor, Sinestro, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, and Superman. Um, all nice little um, illustrations on here. Of course, this is made to look like the old school world's greatest superheroes packaging. Um, how do the figures stand up in comparison to their 1970s counterparts? We are going to find out today, but before we do that, let's take a look at the other Green Lanterns. And starting with um, Guy Gardner as everything else falls fucking down. Um, yeah, here he is. He's got his little dumb ball cut. He's in a green box. Um, the rest of these are, are in green boxes. And uh, as you can see, they started putting this, this bad boy on there, Adult Collector. Does that mean uh, Guy Gardner is an adult collector? Or um, is that who that's for, Mattel? I think a lot of times that gets used as a fucking excuse to make shitty fucking toys. Is uh, oh, it's easier for uh, it's a collectible. It's, it's, so don't don't touch it. Don't take it out of the fucking box, cause goddammit, it's just gonna fall apart. And from what I hear about these things, they're pretty fucking fragile. But we'll see when we take them out of the box. So far inside the box, Guy Gardner does look pretty cool. They all come um, with their uh, with their own their very own lantern uh, to charge up the ring. And uh, on the back, same cross sell on all the green ones. You've got Sinestro, John Stewart, Guy Gardner and Kyle Rayner. And uh, so there you go. And this one's 2010. Um, yeah, these were 2009 through 2011. That was kind of a limited series. They got a little over 20 and that was that. And, uh, and we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out if quality was the, uh, was the reason. All right, next up is our good friend fucking John Stewart. Not that John Stewart, this John Stewart. John Stewart's really fucking cool looking. He's got his classic Green Lantern uh, uniform on. And um, yeah, and we've got the little, little cross cell with the circles. Our Green Lantern photos there or, or illustrated pictures. Obviously it's not photos, they aren't real people. Um, yeah, we're gonna find out what these guys are like when we get them out of the box, but let's take a look at Kyle Rayner in the box the uh who was at the time of uh of this i don't know by 2011 fucking hal jordan was back hal jordan died kyle replaced him and this guy was the green lantern in the comics for years um this guy became the green lantern on the cartoon and uh, guy gardner was uh mentioned occasionally but yeah so let's get these goddamn things open and see what they look like outside the box So let's start out with Hal Jordan, um, the Green Lantern. The Green Lantern you may remember from Super Friends. And uh, he was the Silver Age Green Lantern um, in the 1960s. Um, kind of the, like what a lot of people might call the original Green Lantern, but he wasn't. Um, the, there was a Green Lantern in the Golden Age. That's Alan Scott. The, there never was been a, uh, a figure like this made uh, of Alan Scott, unless you count some some really cool looking customs I've seen. But let's take a look at this figure. Who gives a shit about the Green Lanterns? Let's look at the figure. Um, this is Lucy fucking Goosey. Um, I, I feel like <laughs> these things are barely holding it together. <laughs> um, they do have an outfit with little snaps on them. They are not unlike Amigo. His butt is stained for some reason. I just got it out of the fucking box. Why does he have a stain on his ass? <sighs> anyway, anyway, I'm gonna calm down. All right, so um, he comes with this lantern that he can't fucking hold. Um, so Mattel was hold keeping up with the Mego tradition of uh, of accessories that, that can't be really used by, oh, look at it, he's, he's holding it. He's, he's holding it. <laughs> Okay, oh, nope, there it goes again. All right, so yeah, keeping up the tradition of making fucking accessories that, that can't be held. It feels like the uh, ever since I got it out of the box, the uh, the costume is starting to fall apart. Um, these are the same costumes that are going to be used in the new um, World's Greatest Mego Heroes. Um, as you can see, because I know that the, uh, the Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman fucking uh, figures do share costumes with this Mattel line. Um, God 
damn it, dude. Who approved this? Am I gonna have to switch this out with a new Mego body? Is this an... It, Wow, making the new Mego bodies look good. Thanks, Mattel. Um, that's fucking floppy Hal Jordan. Whoa. Next up is Guy Gardner. There he is with his fucking bowl cut. He he looks pretty fucking cool. Um, let's go in, into the face here. Um, these sculpts aren't bad. These are cool looking sculpts. They are, are good, you know, approximations of what the figure looks like. He's, he's got the, like the boots with the, the you know, the, the straps around them. He's got the chain belt. Um, very cool. Um, there's, there's fucking stitches here on the costume that probably, you know, could have hid, hidden that somehow, maybe use glue or something. We didn't need to put snaps all over everything. He does have his little, his little turtleneck on underneath. He does have a very cool looking costume. They all have the, the fist with the green lantern ring on it um, and one open hand. Uh, but as far as this is concerned, you know, just standing there, if you can get them to stand up, I mean, because of these rubber boots that they have, they stand up pretty well despite being super fucking loose. So um, not a bad figure um, for display, but uh, you, you know, for playing with and stuff, you, and honestly, it feels like it's gonna break in my hands. And from what I hear about these things, it could absolutely do that. And here is Jon Stewart. He's the Green Lantern and he's got his fucking power ring right there and it's cool as fuck and this is also a great looking sculpt looks a lot like the character from uh kind of like the first first appearance first time you see him a little bit he's got more of a uh more of a fuller hairstyle here um but still very very cool looking he uh guy uh, hal and john all come with the identical uh lantern they have pretty much identical bodies uh, they, they have this lantern that they can barely fucking hold. Um, you know, I mean, I guess if you stood him up and you just kind of like, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to fucking touch him. You're just going to stand him up and leave him be. If you do that, then I guess he's fine. If we're just going to display him and that's all you kind of want him for, these things are great. They're going to look nice on the shelf. They're in the same fucking scale as the Mego figures. They're going to look great next to the vintage ones. They're going to look even better next to those new ones. And uh, yeah. That's, you know, they're not bad, really, at the end of the day. I haven't had anything break on me yet, um, besides the fact that they can't hold their fucking accessories. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, no, not being able to hold the accessories is the end of the world. The sculpt, this is sculpt on John. Looks very good. Not a bad sculpt. These are great approximations. And these were done 10 years ago nine years ago not very long ago was this done and um they were able to you know do a very good job on the sculpt and you know obviously based on fucking characters that don't fucking exist in the real world we aren't trying to you know do actors or anything like that hal jordan looks fucking nice too man all right so so finally here he is it's kyle rayner Kyle Rayner in his uh, super cool fucking 90s Green Lantern outfit. Um, this was the Green Lantern that, that I knew um, kind of when reading comics. I kind of came back to comics in the late 90s um, and uh, and Kyle was was still, still Green Lantern um, there and he was kind of holding it down for everybody else. While everybody was gone, they were all dead because Hal Jordan had killed them. Um, Kyle Ray Rayner was the last Green Lantern and um and yeah and then the, they started the the green lantern Corps again and how jordan came back and now nobody fucking remembers kyle but i do and here's his super fucking cool fucking super futuristic lantern and uh let's see because he can barely stand up let's see if he can at least hold his accessories careful careful stand him up don't breathe and there you go! There you go! He can fucking hold his accessories. And, um, there you go. That's a. <laughs> but not very well. Um, sculpt looks pretty good. Looks like a good approximation of Kyle from the, the, the comics. I wish this line actually could have continued on. Um, they would have been able to make improvements on the shitty body 
the fucking hey Raz, look, they can do the hula. Um, yeah, they would have been able to, to make some improvements on the body. I like the uh, the the faux leather, fucking stitched on to the uh, the stretchy, um, you know, the stretchy material. It looks cool. It looks cool. They fit well. They don't look like they're wearing PJs. They, their heads aren't fucking giant on their body. These are great. These are actually really great figures. And you know what? Because they're so fucking cheap, I might as well just buy the rest of them online. And uh, maybe you'll see some more of those uh, coming up in the future. It's the Green Lantern Corps! Well, that's it for the Green Lanterns. What did you think of this line? Let us know in the comments down below. <laughs> Good luck getting any engagement on this one, Gorilla. Maybe next time you won't pick such obscure, nerdy characters. They're not obscure. Anyway, that's all for the Dan Classic Show. We'll see you next time. Raz Holly, hit the music!